Welcome to this context capture tutorial, retouching part 2 of 3. In this tutorial, we will open an existing reconstruction and reference model, select a tile for touch up, we will discover the selection tools, we will remove floating artifacts, discover also the erase and fill function, and we will save our touch up work to update an existing production. In the user interface, you will set in Reconstruction, Reference Model, and choose one tile in the list you aim to touch up. Then on the right of the screen, you will click on Touch Up Tools, and it will open the 3D view onto the tile you selected. Here, we will discover the manual selection tools. First, the most basic one, the rectangle. I will be able to draw a rectangle around a part of the mesh, and press the delete key of my keyboard to remove the floating artifact. If I need to be a more, bit more accurate or if I have an irregular shape to circle, I can use this lasso tool for the exact same purpose. Get a cleaner mesh after removing all the floating artifacts here, floating trees, that I don't want to appear in my mesh in the end. Once I'm done with this removal work, I can move to zoom view, I have a clean mesh, and I can save those changes to update my production. Another selection tool that is very interesting in this new user interface dedicated to touch-up is Smart Selection Tool. Here you will insulate a component from the rest of the mesh. You will define strokes that appear in green currently on the mesh, and that actually define what is part of your selection and by pressing control key and still left arrow of the mouse what is not part of the mesh and you will notice that this tool is very powerful to insulate one component among a global mesh with in and out stroke you will be able to save the selection and use the erase and fill feature Basically, it will dig a hole in the mesh and fill it automatically. After that, you can reset your stroke, have a look at your reality mesh, and save your changes, so the texture can be reapplied after update. Save your changes, and back to the user interface. Here, it will now be time to update your existing production by right-clicking and Submit Update. Thank you very much for attending this context capture tutorial dedicated to retouching part 2 of 3.